Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are checking out the longest suspension bridge in Southern Ontario. So today we're at Scenic Caves, which is just outside Collingwood. And we're here to check out the longest suspension bridge in Southern Ontario. So of course we come when it's at their awkward in-between phase. It's just freshly snowed, so they're getting their trails prepped for snowshoeing and cross-country skiing. So only one trail is open today, but that's okay. It's the main one we exactly. wanted to go on anyway. Yes. We were really hoping to do the scenic cave uh, trail and actually see the caves. Yeah. But unfortunately, because of the fresh snow, that's just not available at this time. But that's but okay. the suspension bridge. So one of the other things we really wanted to check out here was the scenic caves. And unfortunately, that's not happening today because of Mother Nature. <laughs> Chris, how sad are you? Yeah. We're going up there. <laughs> so as we're walking through here, we've noticed that the trees are labeled. This one is a red oak. So this suspension bridge was completed in 2003 and it is Southern Ontario's longest suspension bridge. It's 413 feet long and it is 82 feet above the forest floor. I like the way it feels when you're walking. So you guys might notice that this bridge isn't a typical suspension bridge where it kind of sags down from side to side. They actually built a parabolic curve up and over. And the reason for that is because when they got permission to build this bridge, one of the rules was they weren't allowed to cut down any trees or disturb any of the wildlife or the rivers or anything like that. So in order to make this bridge work and get from side to side without disrupting the trees underneath, it was actually to go up and over. The view up here is absolutely stunning. You, see, you can see Georgian Bay, it looks beautiful. You can even see the little lighthouse. Well, I mean, it looks little from up here. <laughs> so bouncy near the middle. And it's so wacky. She loves it. I love it. How strong is the bridge? Let us assure you that there can never be too many people on the bridge. It can hold the weight of people standing tummy to butt, shoulder to shoulder, stacked four high the entire length of the bridge. Good to know.
So for those of you that are wondering about the engineering of a bridge like this, the cables that are holding this up, I can't even get my hand all the way around, that's how thick they are. And the weights that they're attached to, each weigh more than 16 full-grown elephants. It's too bad that all the trails aren't open today. We, we've come at such an awkward time. <laughs> all right, so we are across the suspension bridge. Now we're back onto the hiking trail and we're heading back up this hill and I guess we're gonna loop around back towards where we came from. Yeah. All right, we've made it back to the start of the trail. Not a very long trail. No, one and kilometer. Fairly easy. A couple uh, hills, but really <laughs> not too bad at all. No. So they also have here, not only do they have the suspension bridge, but they also have the scenic caves, which we mentioned before. Yeah. But they also have tons of different trails, and they also offer a lot of activities for children here. All right, guys, we made it to the end of our scenic caves adventure. Of course, we didn't actually get to see the scenic caves because it snowed today, but we did get to walk across the suspension bridge, which was definitely worth the trip in itself. So don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. So today we're at scenic caves, which is, uh, fuck. So today, where's, oh, oh, oh. Look at that shake. Yeah, he's doing what I want to do. You know I have like every compulsion within me to jump up and down on it. It's so bad. I just want to.